If you ever needed evidence of sport as a unifying factor, the Conflict Stadium Lokoja was the place to be on the 30th March 2021 as members of arguably the best crop of national soccer team players Nigeria ever produced laced up their boots against a team of the Kogi State Executive Council. The ex Super Eagles team made up of stars from the 1994 African Nations Cup triumph in Tunisia and the Atlanta 1996 Olympic soccer gold medalist were captained by their midfield maestro Austin J.J. Okocha, while the Kogi State Executive Council team was captained by none other than Governor Yahyabelu, who was the brain behind the event. The novelty match was the high point of a three-day retreat undertaken by the football legends to Kogi State. <laughs> The Atlanta 1996 Olympic winning coach Joe Buffrey was also part of the delegation. Governor Bello, who welcomed them upon arrival, underscored the significance of their presence in Kogi State and told them to be part of his crusade to bring about a more unified Nigeria. My dear brothers and dear Nigerians, we decided to bring this wonderful man and women who have at one time or the other made Nigeria forget our differences. Come together, <laughs> hug each other, shook each other, dine and wine with each other without considering your religion, your ethnicity, your geopolitical zone, your class difference. Today, in this country, we're facing a lot of challenges that were never envisaged, that were non-existent then. It is just natural that we should return back to our roots. Sports, especially football, once united us. And these are the legends that made it happen. Even though we lost quite a few number, may their soul rest in perfect peace. My dear brothers, we, the current young leaders in Nigeria, are determined to build raised leaders as well, just like you are, who are patriotic, who are resilient, who are ready to make their own quota in making sure that Nigeria is united, Nigeria is secured, Nigeria is prosperous for each and every one of us. And that is why we decided to organize this novelty match. Because at any point in time you talk of greatness, you bring those things that made us great together. <laughs> when you preach it, you show it and you demonstrate it. In Cookie State, we're not just saying we shall, we will. We promise. No. In Kogi State, we are doing it. We are securing our state. We are uniting our state. We are building our state. And just like our legends help in raising the name of Nigeria, so we have brought them together to show, to demonstrate to Nigerians that, hey, we can do it once again. Yes. We are moving the younger generation of this country. The youths, the women, the young leaders. We sincerely appreciate what our elders, whether in business world, in sports world, in political world, or in governance, both in the past and present, what they've done, the great job they've done. 
their own contribution towards rebuilding and building this country. We are simply asking, the time has changed. It is time for we, the younger ones, brace up, rise up, and prepare to take mantle of leadership. The current super egos learn greatly from all of the legends that are here today. We have learned from our elders, we have learned from our leaders, where they got it right and where they made mistakes. And we are prepared to correct it and take our destinies in our hands. As we move towards a greater Nigeria in just a near future, ladies and gentlemen, I urge each and every one of you to join us in this movement because Nigeria will be great. Once again. The leader of the visiting ex super Eagles, Austin Okocha, acknowledged the good work Governor Bello is doing and assured him of his team's true to support. I think um, to say that we be honored to be here today is an uh, understatement. All the way from Lagos to this place, we've been chatting with each other, having banter, catching up with the last time, and you're the only one that made it possible. A legend goalkeeper, Peter Rufai, also spoke. The invitation of His Excellency of this legend here means money cannot, it cannot be quantified monetarily. Yes, indeed, it brought back so many memories to present. You know, good time, tough time, looking at the Nigerian flag, the national anthem being played, you see players determined just for what? Just for that green, white, green flag. And today we are all assembled just by one man. So as you can see, Your Excellency, you really giving us a moment that we cannot just say thank you, but we pray for you for long life and prosperity. And we look forward to such a wonderful gathering again in the near future. On the second day of their visit, all roads led to the conference stadium Lokoja for the much anticipated novelty soccer match between the ex super Eagles and the Kogi State Executive Council team. Nigerian soccer legends Austin Okocha, Peter Rufai, Ike Shirumu, Mwa Kwakano, Tharibu West, Tijani Papangida, and Mutsu Adekoju were among those who featured in the star studied game. Governor Yahya Bele, who captained the Kogi State Esco team, also showed some skill on the pitch. The match ended one all. Julius Agahua, scored for the ex super Eagles while Governor Yahya Bello netted from the penalty spot for the Kogi State Executive Council team. After the highly entertaining match, Kogi State Governor commended the team coach, Joe Balfrey, for his commitment to building a team that brought glory to Nigeria. Governor Bello said, hosting the ex super Eagles in a novelty match is designed to serve as a reminder to Nigerians how united the country was not so long ago. Let the spirit of those days and those years return back to Nigeria. Let us preach unity, let us preach togetherness, let us preach peace, let us preach unity. I want to thank you all, I want to thank our leaders, those that are laying foundation for us to take over from them. We are telling you that we, the younger generation, the youths of today, 
we are ready to take over the mantle of leadership. And here we are taking over the leadership of this country. Nigeria shall be great. And we pray that the effort and the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. He affirmed that the passion and dedication to the nation, aside from bringing glory to the nation, went a long way to integrate the various sections of the country, who despite their ethnic differences, united together for the greatest good of the country. The governor said, contrary to some senior citizens preaching the message of disintegration and regional separation, the youth of the nation have always affirmed their belief in Nigeria's unity. We can come together, emphasize on what unites us. That is why we decided to organize this novelty match to show the Nigerian youth that we are together, bound together with one common destiny. And therefore, whoever is beating the drum of war or disunity, we should disregard them and come together and be one and preach unity, security, and prosperity. On Talent Hunt, Governor Yahyabelo promised to partner with ex super Eagles to raise more stars for the state. We have two football teams, the Kogi United and the Confluence Queens. Now, for the past years, our Kogi United has never won a way match. Today we are winning a way match. And we are going into partnership, as we speak now, with these ex-internationals to come and bring out the raw talent we have across the length and breadth of this Kogi state. And let us show the world that Nigeria started from Kogi State, from this confluence state. We are ready to take charge of that leadership in all spheres of life, including football. One of the ex super Eagles, Taribo West, commended Governor Bello for displaying an uncommon style of leadership and bringing former teammates together after many years. It's one of the phenomenal things that uh, His Excellency has to bring all these uh, men that has represented this country for long years to come together and also celebrate with him in this time uh, uh, of the year. I, I think it's also a great mind that I see that uh, the youth of this nation can be under his uh, palm in the future. He also promised the state government to raise many stars. I think it's not only in the area of football, it should be also uh, in every uh, sporting field uh, where you have veterans can be employed into the state level, communities uh, in the federal level to see how they can bring about their experiences, knowledges and you know all this, most of all these sports are also athletes are professionals in their field who are great minds that can help regenerate that uh, nest that we are looking for the next level of this country. So, His Excellency has done great, but this should not be the end. It should be a continual process. Though, just a novelty match, its significance was not lost on those present, as it reminded everyone of how things used to be. Governor Yahyabelo indeed showed that there are numerous factors of Nigerians' unification, including sports. This was attested to by those present. Uh, what we politicians should learn from them is spirit of sportsmanship, spirit of togetherness, and spirit of accepting defeat. If you lose, you lose, and accept is destiny. So what uh, we are saying is, politicians we should learn from this, uh, from the sportsmen, that when you win, it's not winner takes it all. So when you win, you win. If you lose, you take it in good. My take from this match, novelty match, is that uh, in everything we do, we should be sportsmanship. And uh, as a politician, we should always accept the outcome of every election. We should be a sportsman. The message is not only to the people of Kogi State, it's to the people of Nigeria. That the people that made us proud in 1994, 1996, to have every reason to celebrate them and also make them proud and recognize them as heroes. And more importantly, as a lesson, is doing what he can, what he knows how to do best by unifying the country. Today, he has further unified the team with the state, and to a large extent, further unified the team with with, with, with Nigeria. So the, the, the message is that we should celebrate what we have and celebrate those that made us proud in the past. 
the visit of the ex superigus to Kogi State entered another phase later that day, as Governor Yahyabelo hosted them to a dinner reception. It was another event well attended by top government functionaries. <laughs> The football legends were again led by their captain Austin J.J. Okocha and coach Joe Buffray. Kogi State Governor Yahya Bilo promised the former Super Eagles coach Joe Buffray that he would personally ensure that the long outstanding promise of a plot of land made to him after his Atlanta 1996 Olympic success will be fulfilled very soon. One of the ex internationals approached me. And he did say that when those periods, those good periods, when it was happening, he reminded me of the promise made to the players and the managers of a piece or parcel of land. And that while the players were giving the man put those great men together up to now is yet to be remembered. All efforts have fallen into the lagoon. And that man is Joe Bobfrey. He is yet to get his own land. This is a challenge for me once again. And I will take this to Mr. President. <laughs> President Muhammad Buhari, everybody knows that he's a promise keeper. Even certain promises that he never made, but were made by previous leaders before his assumption of duty, he fulfills them. And Mr. Joe Bonfrey, yours will not be an exception. I will pursue it personally and ensure that you have a parcel of land. And where it becomes difficult due to one challenge or the other, I, in my usual characteristic way of appreciating our heroes, legends, whether alive or not, I will personally, from my own personal resources, give you a land of your choice anywhere in this country. <laughs> this is to simply demonstrate that when you do good, you'll be remembered and be appreciated one day. You're both free. You did well. You made Nigeria proud. And on behalf of myself, the government and the good people of Kogi State, and millions of Nigerian youths across the country and those in diaspora, we say thank you and God bless you. Top government functionaries and other appointees were also part of the colorful event. Governor Yahya Bello expressed delight at the gathering and called for a revival of the things that unified Nigerians in the past, including football. Once upon a time, Nigerians don't really care the religion you practice. Once upon a time, 
Nigerians don't really care the class you belong. These wonderful, sweet, and marvelous moments were created by certain people. And who are those that made this wonderful years a memorable one that we are celebrating today and we shall continue to celebrate till the end of time? These are the heroes. They excelled in their chosen career, which is the football, soccer. Soccer was one event that brought Nigeria all together. And who are those, like I said earlier? They are the JJ coaches of this world, the Taribu West of this world, the Garbalawal of this world, the Papilo of this world, the Celestine Babayero of this world, the Tijani Babangidas of this world, Daniel Amokachi of this world, Victor Ibebe, that uh, we, what people used to call them, this school goes. There's a Victor Ibebe and it's a goal. Our own Victor Ipeba, the Prince of Monaco, and host of others. Those days when you have Peter Rufai in the good post, you were confident. When you have Ike Shorumu in the good post, we were confident only that the young has grown. Today, he couldn't just withstand my penalty. <laughs> My dear brothers, let us ask ourselves a question. How did this man did it? How? They were hardworking. They were dedicated. They showed resilience. They were determined. They were faithful. They were united. That is the spirit of togetherness, unity, determination, faith, patriotism that brought Nigeria all together at that time. We care less whether you are a Yoruba man, you are a Hausa man, or you are an Igbo man. What is important then is Nigeria is one. Then, what went wrong? The question is, what went wrong? Today, we're still in the same Nigeria. And Nigerians are speaking with this, in discordant tones. Why? A lot has gone wrong within this period. A lot has gone wrong. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the only way I can describe what went wrong is to use this word, game. Games were played. Games are still being played. And these games are not desirous. We don't need these games. The game of chop by chop. The game of is our turn, is their turn. The blame game, the game of procrastination, 
the game of ethnicity. Religious games. I call all of these games because even if we are playing the game of ethnicity well, we shouldn't be where we are today. Even if we are playing the game of religion, we shouldn't be where we are today. Because we know that as a Muslim, they are bound all over this world, this country. As a Christian, we are bound everywhere in this country. I wouldn't do anybody to a Muslim brother here because I have them in the other side where Christians are dominant. I should know that, look, as a Hausa man, I shouldn't do anything to any other ethnicity or ethnic group here because I have my brothers more at the other side. I should even be patient if it is their turn, because I know one day it will be our turn. If those games were even played well, but distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and dear viewers, these games were played to satisfy the microscopic few. And then we, the majority, we, the people, we, the real owners of this country, we are suffering. And what do we do? If that is your game, let us sit down and design our own game too. Because their game has not taken us anywhere. Rather, it's threatening to affect the corporate existence of this entity called Nigeria. And what should our game look like? How should it look like? We should play the game of competence. My dear brothers, we should play the game of capacity and ability and willingness to serve faithfully. We should play the game of determination. The game of patriotism. If it is their turn, let us also say it is our turn. And who are the we? We in the majority. And who are those of us in the majority? The youths and younger generation. We shall appreciate those games that have been played over this period and clap for them. Let us simply rise up. When we rise up and we stand up, their game is over. And then, where should it be? The time is now. <laughs> My dear brothers, the time is now. And I believe it is youth o'clock. We must take our destinies in our hands. We must not allow ethnicity division, religious divide, all forms of hypocrisy. We should not allow it again in our lifetime. We in Kogi State today, we thank God who have practiced it. We are not promising that we will do. It is what is being done right now. We lead and others follow. The talk of unity in the country today 
no state is as united as Kogi State. When you talk of peace and security, no state is as peaceful and secure as Kogi State. When you talk of youth and women involvement, Kogi State take it. When you talk of competence, we are leading. In fact, as I speak with you, we even have students serving in our government who is doing excellently well. And sincerely speaking, here in Kogi State, we don't care whether you are from Kogi State or any part of this country, so long as you have what we need in Kogi State. We will bring you in. My dear brothers, it is time to rise up. The future that all of us has been yearning for, to be great, starts immediately now. It starts immediately now. Let's listen to them, to them as they try to bring their game on board. But man, we have our joker. Our joker is in our numbers. Our joker is in our resilience, our determination to fix this country. We shall fix this country to be great again. We shall fix this country to continue to lead Africa Nigeria being the most populous and the powerful black nation, we shall fix it. We shall fix it. And the whole world will amaze us. Nigeria will be free from mediocres. Captain of the ex Super Eagles, Austin Okocha, described Governor Bello as a unifier and commended his composed style of leadership which Nigerian as a whole can benefit from. We've come to acknowledge and understand more why they call you the unifier. I think um, I don't have to say much about your hospitality. I don't think we have good nor silver to give you. But what we have is our prayers. We pray that God will continue to guide and protect you. Give you the wisdom and the strength to keep leading. Not just Kogi State, but beyond Kogi State. A self-portrait was presented to Governor Bello by the ex-Nigerian football internationals, who the governor said should be celebrated always for the sincere representation of Nigerians to the world through football. Secretary to the Kogi State Government, Ajuade Folashade, explained the significance of the novelty match held earlier. Today is an exceptional evening, and it gladdens my heart to have every one of you here with us tonight to celebrate the heroes amongst us, the ex Super Eagles team and their head coach. To our friends that are in a better place now, we remember you all. Of course, I'm talking about the likes of Rashidi Yakini. We remember you with fondness. Tonight, it's all about celebrating our superheroes who have done this country proud in the world of football. The United States 94 and 96 team as the lovely national anthem of our country says, the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. You all have not only done yourself proud, but you have also done your fatherland proud. Let's capture some magical moments. It is worth remembering 
your dedication to your fatherland, the Atlanta Olympic 1996. When you fought your way back and defeated the mighty Brazilian team and then went on to defeat your chair or Argentine team in the finals of the same event to clinch the gold medal. These superlative performance are memories that will never leave us. It has created your names in gold and the arts of Nigerians. Today, we are gathered with our stars. We stand in unity and goals ahead of us all. You are the stars uniting us all. As people of this great nation, through that common name that brings friends and enemies alike together, football, the ultimate goal is uniting Nigeria and creating new possibilities. It will be foolhardy to come down on this podium without saying a big thank you to my amiable governor, the youngest governor in the whole of Nigeria, who is the first executive governor of Kogi State, His Excellency, Governor Jaya Bedu, the leader of the only New Direction Administration, who in his wisdom has approved and supported this event. Thank you, your excellency sir and for one better sir this season has been one of consolidation and consequence consequently for us as a country and especially in Bogi State we have experienced a lot of ups and downs your innovative leadership has helped transform Bogi State and I have no doubt in me that a new Nigeria of new possibilities is a done deal with you. It was indeed an interesting evening for all present, where the power of sports as a unifying tool was on display for all to see, and a wonderful climax to the visit by the former Nigerian soccer internationals. It also provided Kogi State Governor Yahyabilu the opportunity to display his passion for Nigerian unity and means of achieving that. Let me do this specially for you. I was a bit too boy when I watched you play in Atlanta. But what I know is that you did. This is that message to you. Yes, I want to hear. Hey, hey, hey. I'm proud of it. It's your sound, 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 sound. But every little thing is going to be alright. Your Excellency.
Kogi citizens and indeed Nigerians at large should expect more of such gatherings and events from the governor as many people from all walks of life are saying yeah, Yabelu is the man they want at the helm of Nigerians affairs come 2023. And give me the last letter I, Kogi. Put your hands together, please. For This package is brought to you by the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Electronic Media.